If you came to this video because you have audio sync issues, your frame rate's not constant, and anything that you're recording from XSplit or OBS, you're actually at the right place. I had the same kinds of issues when I was recording with XSplit and OBS at the beginning when I was started using Adobe Premiere after many years of not using it. And one of the easiest ways of fixing it is using a program that's absolutely free. But before I get to that, my name is Steve Smith, this is TQA Weekly, the program I'm going to be demonstrating is called Handbrake. You can get it for free at handbrake.fr. And here is how it works. From this screen, let's move it. You go and click File. You select the file you want. You go to Open. First thing they're going to give you is a whole bunch of information here, which you don't really have to pay attention to. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to dimensions. First problem you're going to have with handbrake is their cropping. Don't know why they don't have an option to just disable cropping, but you're going to have to disable cropping just to make sure. The next thing you're going to have to deal with is the width and the height. Now I record TQA weekly and everything else at 1080p 60 FPS, but I output it to 720p 30 FPS. It's a smaller file, it's still HD, but for what I do with it, it's plenty fine. If you think you need a 4K video of me talking to you, you're mad. But this is how you make sure your dimensions actually work. So as long as you know your dimensions, you should be able to get the correct output. Now, if the dimensions of your initial video and the dimensions of the output video match, it's going to have a par one by one, and that will be dead on. And that means you're actually doing it correctly. Now, that is not necessarily my issue. This is stepping down the resolution, but my original issue was my frame rate. The frame rate is what's actually causing the audio sync issue. It was recording with a variable frame rate. So you go to video and under video, you have frame rate and this is identified as FPS. You want to select the constant option, not peak. That way every second has exactly 30 frames per second. So if you import into something like Adobe Premiere, it's going to be easier to edit because every second will have the same number of frames and therefore the audio will no longer go out of sync. Then of course, if you wanted to, you can click the audio tab and you can delete or add audio tracks. If you're gonna edit though, don't bother with this because you can remove or add tracks in your video editor later. And once you add it to this, it's basically destructive. So you don't wanna really destroy anything. What we're doing is making it easier to edit with. You also have to deal with presets. You got custom presets that you can make and then you have a whole bunch of other device presets that are already here. My suggestion to anyone is to make sure that you're using an MP4 preset. So MP4 will be the H.264 or X264 format. It is compatible with just about everything and it's an HTML5 video standard, meaning that every device actually supports it, especially if you can access websites that are fluid enough to respond to different kinds of layouts on your devices. At the bottom here, you'll have the browse option to select a save as file. Do not overwrite the original file. Never overwrite your original file. What you're likely to do is destroy the original, making it impossible for you to go back just in case. It's remarkable how many people overwrite. It's not a good idea to do that because of how destructive this is. So you save as to another file and then to get the process on, if you have multiple to do, you can go to add to queue or you can just click start encode. And if you're really lazy and you want to go to bed at the bottom here, bottom right, when done, you can do do nothing, shut down, suspend, hibernate, lock system, log off, or just quit handbrake. And that's basically it. That is how I solved my variable frame rate issue, which at the same time solved the audio sync issue. And at the same time also gave me a bonus, 
made it easier to edit in Adobe Premiere because it basically made everything pre-rasterized. I didn't have to re-encode everything. Everything plays smoothly inside of my video editor. So if you like this episode, like it, dislike it if you didn't, share with those that you think can benefit from this, especially those with audio sync issues, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at tqaweekly.com or go to my website, tqaweekly.com for everything else. And if you want to make this show better, go to patreon.com slash tqaweekly and become a patron today. Patrons get these episodes two days in advance of everyone else. Thank you for watching and goodbye.